Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we will show you how you can integrate and use WooCommerce with Google Analytics. So first of all, we will go on our Chrome browser and search Google Analytics. We will search here and this will appear up here. We will click it and this page will appear up here. So Google Analytics is a tool by Google. You can use this to track uh, your site traffic. Uh, which type of audience you are having, what is your bounce rate, uh, what is the quality of your traffic and how much session time you are having and all the details uh, regarding your site traffic it will give you. Okay, so here I will select uh, the account name uh, which is Mall of USA. My website name is Mall of USA so I am typing it here. Then we will click the next and this is asking the property name. I will uh, do the same at the Mall of USA. Uh, because uh, my business name is this okay so I will uh, type it here now okay uh, the model of USA okay uh, now we will click next and here it will ask a few basic questions uh, regarding my company and we will uh, just select uh, the category of our business and it is not appearing up here actually it is a clothing business so uh, we will just uh, set up here uh, manually and select this shopping option from here okay so this is the option we will selecting and it is a small company one to uh, ten employees so we will select this and uh, these are the option uh, what things you want to use uh, what uh, things you want to measure in your website i am uh, selecting all these and i will create the account okay uh, so here it will appear up I will just uh, tick mark the selection and I will uh, just click I accept okay now uh, when we will click the I accept here and I will just click it here and uh, the account is, will be created and uh, we will go on the next step this is your main dashboard uh, these are the things you can uh, read performance suggestion and feature announcement feedback and testing we will just tick them all and uh, save the changes okay this one is the uh, navigation tutorial if you want uh, to have a look you can use this but I am cancelling it right now because I know it already so uh, it is asking me to choose a platform I will select the website from here because I want to add it to my website uh, it is asking for my website URL so we will go here on our website and copy this URL link and paste it here on this so as you can look uh, it already has https uh, slash uh, so I will just cancel it and I will just paste this URL and my stream name will be Mall of USA because it is my brand name so okay uh, now I will just click the create stream so the stream is created uh, you can see it here so it is uh, right now uh, this is a stream ID, the measurement ID. Uh, you can see the instructions, uh, how to install it here. Okay, uh, so okay now uh, there is a thing. Uh, it is giving an error, which is data collection isn't active for your website because I think we don't have the plugin to use this. Okay, we will add a plugin on our website. Uh, let's see which plugin they are asking. Okay. So they are asking these two plugins. Uh, okay, we will use this Sidekick plugin. Let's go on our website and install this. We will go on plugins and click Add New and search this plugin here. Okay, now this will appear up. We will search this like okay uh, here the Sidekick. Let's hit Enter and check it. Okay, no plugin is appearing up. Let's enter a space and try it. Okay. Uh, Okay, now we have this plugin, the Sidekit by Google Analytics and Search Console Ads and Speed Optimization. Okay, we will click the install button. While it is install it, uh, installing, you can have a look. It has 3 million plus active installation. My God, okay. Um, now it is getting installed. And once it is installed, we have to click the activate button. So it will be redirecting us to another page. So you can have a look. So here uh, you can see the start setup and here's the dashboard of this plugin okay we will click the start setup button let's start up uh, our google analytics 
and we will just uh, check the compatibility and sign in with Google uh, we will click this and this will redirect us to the Google page we will just have to select the Gmail ID uh, on which we have the account of Google Analytics we will just uh, click uh, these options here and we will go down and then we will allow the settings and continue okay so it is getting loaded and now we just have to verify this that we have the full ownership of our, of, of our store okay uh, this is model of USA I own this store so I can click the verify so it have three steps to verify so let's verify it and clicked uh, it is getting loaded okay it will go on the next step yeah here is the next step we just have to allow this and turn on the uh, dashboard and uh, we will click the setup console now we will set up the console, uh, console and for that we have to go to the dashboard we will open this in a new tab uh, then we will just wait while it's loading and here you can see this is the dashboard where we will set up this you can see all the data and okay uh, we will set up this google analytics from here it is getting loaded we will uh, you can see all the name property name and all website data is here because we have created already account on this and we will uh, select the all account and then we will click this gmail option here we will just have to allow these two settings and press continue after loading it will appear up like this and this will be loading and now it is loading we have to wait a little okay now this will appear up we just have to take these uh, one two options and accept all these and give the permissions and click the i accept button so it is successfully created we will go back on our dashboard after going back on dashboard you can have a look uh, here all the option will be appearing it is right now gathering the data it will take few time and uh, it will show you the data of your website the traffic the content the speed optimization we will go on the search console now the search console is getting open okay so now you can see here a uh, few settings the overview performance url expansion and pages sitemaps removal page experience for uh, they, these are the settings you can use uh, to better the performance of your site indexing with Google search engine so we can click the start and you can use these settings you can have a look so this was the tutorial for the day and hope you like the video if you do so thanks for watching